So it's official, they're coming for me and you're next. Somebody reach out to Joe Rogan and get me on his podcast. It might save my life. They want to come into my house hot and heavy. Amazing story time. Sorry for all the dust, I've been out working in the yard. So one of the projects that I worked on that I'm probably not supposed to tell you about are the algorithms of human emotion. But f*** it, we're there. It's my work and I can release it. To cut to the chase, this is a very complicated but very effective mind influence technology that can be used to control the population of any country regardless of what government's in power in that country. And these algorithms are the keystone that can make Elon Musk's dystopian AI future a reality. Let me explain, because I know you're already and you might not believe this. Let me put it in as simple terms as possible. The human mind can be modeled, where human emotions can be logically defined, tracked, and even predicted in real human beings. Now what this type of technology allows for is something really, really scary. With the algorithms of human emotion, a computer system that's running 24-7, 365 days can start to track and understand every individual's mind on the planet, or everyone that uses a cell phone or other electronic device. And this is not a commercial for my book, it's just proof that I know what I'm talking about. In my book, I talked about the self map. The self map is one half of 100% of our emotional reaction. Now, our emotional reactions are the thing that drives us into action as human beings. You have to have an emotion to drive you to do something before you actually do it. And as you connect to things on the internet, this self-map can be automatically recorded for you and everyone else. In fact, big companies like Facebook and Google already do this automatically and have a self-map for you already mapped out. So when they have a self-map for you, there's only one other half of the equation of emotion they need to understand to be able to map your entire emotional landscape. And then also map the things that you will react to to create emotional reactions that will drive you into action. And so now, with these algorithms, at a scope of 8 billion people, at a granularity of knowing what each individual might need to hear to an evoke emotional reaction that would influence them to take a particular action, including with a simulated voice of your kids, delivering you a message over the phone, or through deep fake video, they can emotionally influence the whole world population by sending you the exact thing you need to see or hear to get you to take action, whatever action they want you to take, based on whatever they send you personally. And then they can do the same thing for everybody else. And at that point it doesn't matter who runs a government somewhere if you control the populace you control the world and i figured all this stuff out in my head evidenced by the fact that i have written the best book on human emotions currently available and the world leading experts at mit said yeah that's it you got it so i might know what i'm talking about my point is you need to know they're coming for them they want to come into my house hot and heavy grab all my hard drives even though i destroyed the data intelligence community operatives are trying to hack my electronics constantly and this isn't my paranoia check out what happened two videos ago i caught them you can certainly try to say that this is bullshit or the government doesn't want to be able to emotion manipulate every individual on the planet, but I know you aren't that gullible. Now, I've told the intelligence community who's contacted me multiple times that I don't want to be that guy, but it seems that they don't want to take no for an answer on this one. What lengths do you think they'd go to? So if all of a sudden I become some major drug dealer or some other kind of major lawbreaker that's reprehensibly disgusting, don't believe it. If you hear a story of me resisting arrest, it's bullshit. I love you guys, each and every one of you, and I want you guys to be happy and healthy for the rest of your life and pass that down to your kids. We will change the world. I got two days, blow this 